Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back. I am working on some gift card holders uh, for my craft fair. They could be like, like little um, cards where you can put a gift card in it. I wanted it to be a little bit different and I started using this uh, collection that I've been cracking into here. It's the darlingest. Um, and it is by Andrea Bethke. Um, I ordered this on her site, andreabethke.com, and I believe it might be the Fairy Tale Club. I'll see if I can try to link it below for you. But y'all, I've been sitting here. I just wanted to just not use dyes, not use things that maybe you don't have. I wanted to create something that's just going to be sweet and simple and just fun. And so I pulled out, because I had bought this collection probably like, oh, a month and a half, two months ago, and I had not cut into it yet. And it is the cutest, look at this. It's just a very retro looking paper colors and so forth, and it's just so, so cute. So, I wanted to use some of this. So, let me show you how the ones I've done have turned out. So what I did to base on the size that I wanted is these are the clear bags that I still have um, in my stash. Let me see if I can get this back up here. Okay, so this is the clear bags I have in my stash. And so I want, knew I wanted to put my card, my gift card holders in these little bags. And so I went through my stash and these bags actually are five and a half by, let's see, you could do a five and a half by six and a half, but what I'm doing is mine five by six. So let me just show you, um, let's just open this one. I love the paper and I was gonna put something on the front of this one, but that is just so cute. I didn't wanna cover it up, but how cute. They're just red on the back. You can also add some paper on the back if you wanted to, and I still might go back and do that. Maybe something pretty subtle, um, but what you do is you open it up. Over here you write, and over here you have a place for your gift card. And I made this, the, this part where you hold the gift card a little bit smaller than the base of the card, just because I thought it was just kind of cute. It's kind of cute just to do that. And um, yeah, I love the way these are turning out. And I just think, um, yeah, they're super cute. And they'll be, um, I don't know, a two or three dollar, a three dollar item probably for at my craft fair. So um, this is my next craft fair idea. This is the other one I have done. And I just love it. It's just so much just layering up. And look how this one is. I also have the stickers. And so I'm putting a little sticker in each corner. And as you see here, there's the pocket for the gift card. So anyway, that is it. I just love these so much and I'm loving the paper. And I think I'm just gonna crack into much, as much of this as I can and um, just kind of play with it. Just kind of go with it and just have fun just cutting paper today. So what you're gonna need is a base piece of paper. And this one is five by six. So five width, six height, okay? And then you're going to need a piece of paper, of designer series paper, that's going to go right over it, like leaving just a little bit of a border, okay? So whenever this is five inches, I just took off two eighths of an inch all the way around, and that's how I got it where it's just going to have a little border. So let's get this one added on. Now, I tried to... <laughs> I tried to stick one on and I used just my other regular tape. And let me just tell you that um, the tape works great because I stuck it on one time and it was like, it was just not working for me. I got it crooked and I wasted it and I hate to waste. And so anyway, I see a little bit of this tape sticking over and I don't want that on my end result, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. So what I did is I've just put a strip of this tape on the top here, and I only did that just so I'll be able to anchor this down, And but I wanna put this where it will work, and make sure, gotta make sure that's up. 
Now, originally today, I was going to do some Halloween stuff, but y'all, oh, that's just not my vibe. I just haven't felt like, you know, I haven't felt the greatest today. I just wanted to have it to be a little chill day, and I have not left my house. In fact, I took a shower, and I put my pajama pants right back on. At least I'm clean. Okay, so there we go. I used tape, the this tape on the top, just to, so I can hold it down and get it straight. And then I just use some tape runner to get the rest of it down. Okay. Again, if you want to put something on the back, go for it. So now what you're going to need for that extra little fold for the actual card part is a strip of paper. And this one's 12 by 5. And let me make sure I'm telling you. 12 by 5 and a half. Okay. So 12, 12 width. Five and a half in, in height because this this is actually six inches tall so I just made it um, where there'd be like a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom and I've already gone ahead I scored it at four and eight just so I can make this like a trifold and I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and crispy and s nicely held down okay and then I'm going to use my bone folder for this one so now I have my trifold okay so you need to create your pocket okay so my pocket when I fold this over my pocket needs to be right in here and I like to do mine at a diagonal so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to cut your paper and you're going to start from this corner to this corner. So we're going to pull out our our paper trimmer. And what you're going to do is you're going to line this up and you're going to put the line you're going to put um, right here where you trim it, you're going to put that little dot and then the other one, you're going to put it like this. So we're going to be cutting at a diagonal. Okay, just like this. And I'm just going to chop that off. And now I have a place to hold my pocket. Okay. So then I decided, okay, what do I want to put on the front for this one? And I've already gone ahead and cut this piece. I really love the striped. And actually on this one right here, I used the stripe behind. And I just really love that. So I'm going to go with the striped. And what you're going to do is cut it about 2 eighths of an inch smaller. So this is 4 inches in width, 5 and a half in height. So just go about 2 eighths of an inch um, uh, shorter than those measurements. So just kind of take off just so you can have a little bit of a border there. So for this one, I am just going to try to eyeball it and I'm just going to see if I can get this on as straight as I can. I'm praying I can. I am just going to Find my edge. Here I am inside listening to Christmas Christmas movies on the Hallmark Channel. And in my pajamas and I hear kids outside playing. But that's just how I roll today. Okay, so I've got this on here. This is my base piece of paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some tape all around the edge here. And you're probably saying, why did you make this extra? I just kind of like the way it looked. You know, you just kind of start playing around and you just kind of go with what you think you like. And I really like this. I think it's just cute. And um, you don't have to make these just for Christmas. You can make them for birthdays or whatever you like. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do, this is the front, of course, so I'm going to go ahead and peel a little bit off this top. 
just because I'm gonna work on getting it straight. You're gonna kind of center it up and once you get it where you think you want it and you see that it looks pretty straight, you're just gonna go over here and pull that off. Not too bad. If it's not totally straight, don't stress. It's okay, it's all good. I'm gonna peel off all this and get this pressed down. So now we have that beautiful board around there. So then what you need to do is add a piece. I used white paper just for this edge over here just because I wanted to make sure I have a place for them to write their greeting. So I'm just going to get some tape on here. Uh-oh, I think I'm just running out of that one. Let me see if I got some more. I do. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. So back in business. Now, on the first one I did um, that I ended up throwing it away, I used glue. And I really didn't like using glue whenever I glued it because I could see the glue marks. And I just did not like that. So that's why I'm just going with tape. But use what you have or what you would like. Okay, so I'm adding the white. Let me go ahead. I'm going to grab my little stickers. I got this with the with the um, collection. And I like this one. It says, I heart Christmas. I'm going to put it down at the bottom right down here. Isn't that cute? Now I need to have a piece for inside. So let me see. And, and then I also am going to put a cut apart on the front. Just because that one could use a little cut apart. I do love this one. And I do love this one. It says, all the hot cocoa and marshmallows for me, please. Actually, I kind of like that one because we've got snowflakes. So of course, in true me fashion, you want to layer it up. I'm gonna find me. I'm looking for a scrap off to the side here so I can layer this up. And yes, you could use all different colors if you want. I'm kind of stuck on just using red right now. And I just think it's just pretty. So I'm gonna layer that one. Get that on there. I'm just gonna use my scissors and trim, leaving a little border. And there we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I can just put this on the front. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with this one as well. And you wanna try to center it. Super cute. Look at that. That's darling. And you know, I'm looking here. I actually have, there's a little snowflake on here. I might add that. I think. Let me see how that looks. I do like that. I think I have. I think I'm, oh, I've got another small one right over here. And I'm just going to add, maybe I'll add it right over here. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on that. I want them to be simple. Okay, so now I've got to determine what paper I want on the inside. So since I did the hot cocoa, I'm going to look through. I really think this one is cute and it has nothing to do with hot cocoa, but it's cute. Everything doesn't have to totally match. Um, I have this one. 
And how cute is this? I might save that one for the front of something. And I was trying to to see. This is the hard part, making decisions. Okay, this is the other side of the snowflakes. Um actually like kind of cute. It's kind of different though. I don't love it. I think that I might just go with this one. This will be okay. And so this one is cut. And remember in between here it's four inches and this is by five and a half. So I've already pre-cut this one and it's just going to fit right up in here leaving a little red border. And the cave. Oops, sorry about that. Something just fell in my laundry room. And I'm just going to try to make this straight. Line that up. See how that went? Now, this part right here, you're going to fold it over. We need to be able to hold on to our gift card so it doesn't slide out. So I'm going to add some of my score tape. I'm just going to make sure that's down. And then I'm just going to fold this one over like this. And now we're going to add a piece for the top of this. So let me see what I might have over here as far as a scrap. I do have, I don't want to put the same one, so I'm not going to put that. I want them to look all different. And this is not big enough. I'm just kind of looking to see what scraps I already have here. That's upside down. So, I guess I'll have to cut another one. Here everybody's getting ready for Halloween and all that and costumes and here I am cutting up Christmas paper. You know, I was going to do something for Halloween and I still might get up tomorrow and think, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and go for it or, or I might not. I might make more Christmas because I actually love, love, love Christmas. So, not this one. I don't want to put that same one. And actually, these right here. Okay, I know I'm just. I know I'm rambling here. Bear with me a sec. Okay, I do like this one. I have used this one on the other one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut myself a piece. This one's gonna be four inches, so a little less than four inches. So two eighths of an inch less than four inches in width. Just making sure that I'm gonna get this straight. And then remember it was five and a half in height. So I'm gonna go a little bit less, two eighths of an inch less than the five and a half. And then it's gonna fit right up inside here, but of course we're gonna have to cut it off. So I think for this, we will just go ahead. I'm gonna line up my peaks or my corners so I can slice this right in half. And let's see how this one will work. So it's gonna fit right up inside there. And see, you've still got a little bit of red hanging over the edge. So let me get my tape runner on here. Get some tape off to that edge so it stays. And then I'm just going to kind of line it up. And now we have a sweet little gift card holder that becomes a card. I love this so much. Look how sweet it is. And having this extra border on there just gave it something. Just so cute. Just so, so cute. 
You can add a little embellishment over here if you want. Um, this collection, I did purchase these flare buttons. The only thing about them is most little buttons like this, they have like the little stick pins on the back. These do not. So they would be very cute just to glue on as embellishments, but I don't want this part of my card sticking up. So I probably will like maybe use them on the fronts or something. Um, that's what I thought about doing at first. I thought, you know what, I will add them in uh, like as an extra little, little something in with the gift card. But um, I don't know, I just think I'll just go with this. I like the way they're looking. Then I have my clear bags and these right here, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're, they're located in the, like the, like in the frames and the, um, you know, like where you get mats for pictures and things like that. So, but anyway, the bags are actually five and a half and if they go up, I could always make it up to um, seven inches. So they're, they're good for like a five by seven. So that's probably what the size was. Um, but anyway, I think it's just actually perfect. And um, yeah, how cute is this? I love this. So and then all you're gonna do, and I'm gonna wait to close them all, but all you're gonna do is then just close them up. You can even make a nice little topper if you want. I might consider that. I'm not huge on making toppers, but I, I'm, I'll think about it. And um, when I do a final reveal of everything what I'm putting in my craft fair, if I've made a topper, I'll make sure to show you. So now I've got three. I think that they're super, super cute. Oh my goodness. How darling are these in this paper is just stunning. It's so fun and happy and retro. It reminds me so much of retro because of the colors and adding in the pink and the green the way it is and so forth. But anyway, I'm going to make a couple more of these and then I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go out just washing my bed sheets. So I like to like if I'm home last weekend, I wasn't home or I was home, but my sister was here and her husband. So, you know, you were kind of catching up and chatting and everything like that. So anyway, that's it, y'all. That's what I've, that's what I've been doing. Just kind of just. A chill day clean my kitchen you know what are y'all doing today leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing today um yeah that's what I've been doing it's really fun I've got one more Hallmark movie I need to watch so I think I'll flip it on and I usually just listen to it while I'm working and so I think that that might be what I'm gonna do um, I think I'll make one or two more of these and um, then I'll um, then I'll probably get up and go do something else in my house. Or maybe I'll just continue to rest, you know. Um, but anyway, that's it, y'all. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers. I have noticed some new people. And I've noticed people saying, hey, I'm new to your channel. I've subscribed. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Every time you subscribe and every time you give me a thumbs up, that helps my channel so much. And, um... You know, so anyway, but thank you so, so much. And um, yeah, I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.